EVMS stands for Earned Value Management Systems. So first of all, we have to go step by step with easy approach to understand Earned Value Management System in effective way and in practical way. So what is Earned Value Management System? It is project management technique used to track project status with respect to time and cost. You have to find out at any time during execution phase, you have to apply earned value management systems to come to know about the status of your project. Okay. So at the in the planning phase i have already mentioned this thing that uh, you have to develop certain kpis what does mean by kpi kpi means key performance indicators every organization have its own certain key performance indicators on daily on weekly or on monthly basis reports those digits those indicators will indicate about the project status so we will go into the details how to prepare kpi dashboard as per your company requirement and that would be only hap happen on uh, after understanding earned value management systems so um, you can define uh, in kpi you have three kind of analysis variance analysis performance analysis and forecasting analysis in variance analysis you can come to know about the deviations uh, of planning phase to the execution phase then in performance also you can uh, come to know about the performance status and in forecasting you are predicting what i have in my hands and what i should go for to complete your project within the target and uh, i will go in the details of kpi uh, step by step and uh, in variance analysis we will talk about schedule variance we'll talk about cost variance and then in performance analysis we will learn about schedule performance index and cost performance index and then forecast analysis there we will come to know about the estimate at completion with respect to time and then estimate at completion with respect respect to cost and uh, before doing all these things like variance analysis performance analysis and forecasting analysis because we want our dashboard prepared on uh, weekly basis reports or on daily basis reports so to calculate all these parameters uh, using earned value management technique we need inputs and then we have to apply certain formulas and then we will get output as kpi so what are the inputs these are the inputs <clears throat> planned value the first input for earned value management systems then earned value are achieved uh, uh, value or you can say it uh, work done and then there is actual cost okay and uh, further on i will explain these things in step by step way so another name for planned value as per project management uh, professional book uh, pm book um, uh, planned value you can call it budgeted cost of work schedule b c w s stands for budgeted cost of work schedule and planned value same things earned value and budgeted cost of work performed okay and then there is actual cost the third input for earned value management techniques you can say actual cost actual cost of work performed so i will go into the details what is planned value what is earned value and then what is actual cost actually so here we are and uh, uh, before going into the details of these factors you must know one thing that in which scenario you have to apply earned value management system so it is better i will assume the situation but without uh, discussion of uh, status date cutoff date or data date everything will go in vain everything so first you have to understand what is cutoff date let's say our project is going to start from 15th of uh, december 2019 and going to end in 25th of april 2020 this is my project start date and finish date and if i need to know today is uh, 31st December or you can say today is 5th of January but I need my report done about earned value management system up to 31st December 2019 because my project was started on 5th of December 2019 and it will end up on 25th of April now I need to 
come to know about the status of my project uh, till 31st December. So that date would be called as status date on the date on which you want to know about your uh, project status or cutoff date. Why it is cutoff date? I will explain that thing as well. While uh, when once we will be on Excel sheet, and then data date is also the same thing. These three terminologies you will come across while doing your project management. Three having the same meanings. Okay. So what is next? Now we will come and we will study about planned value, earned value, and actual cost. What is planned value? This value belongs to planning phase. You should remember that uh, while we were in planning phase, uh, I have already made you learn this thing that in project management, we have certain phases. There is initial phase, there is a planning phase, execution phase, monitor and control phase, and there is closing phase. Here, I will help you to memorize or to understand these things in very quick way. That planned value, it sounds like planned. It belongs to planning phase. You have already saved one baseline in your primavera six. So this value belongs to your baseline. This value belongs to your planned value. Okay. And uh, if you want to calculate the manual way, uh, you know, you want to adopt uh, manual method to calculate your planned value because in primavera it will be automatically uh, calculated. Okay. You don't need to calculate all these things, but every time I'm teaching these things to my students because you should grip on the things in very strong way because uh, tomorrow if you are um, attending some meeting and you are saying that what is planned value earned value and somebody asks you the core concept of these things you must uh, should be in the position that you can explain that thing with mathematic logics okay so what is what is the method to calculate your planned value uh, planned value is equal to schedule percent complete multiply value of total work. Okay, but in Primavera 6, once you are going to work on Primavera 6, you just need to update your project progress and then everything will be given by Primavera 6 automatically. Okay, you will understand what are the logics behind this formula. Uh, total uh, value of your work and what time has lapsed okay so i'll explain this thing in this example let's say i have one activity a compaction this activity is going to start from 15th of december 2019 and uh, it's going to end up on 5th of january and the total duration for this activity is 20 days and then on 31st december i want to uh, know about the status of this certain activity Okay, 31st December and today is 2nd January and uh, why I'm gi giving two days of relaxation because you know from site to head office of planning department, it will take uh, like one day or two day to get your data and process into project management uh, primavera 6. So that's why I'm giving that much relaxation that 2nd January I'm going to update but I have data till 31st December so that date would be considered as cutoff date and value of work total uh, this activity will cost. Uh, including all the resource cost $2,000 okay now if I come to know that how much time has elapsed total my time is 20% because I need to calculate about my schedule percent here should be 75% is schedule percent complete okay so how I calculated this because 20 uh, 15 15 divided by 20 because till 31st uh, only 15 days are elapsed so you must know about the progress you know that when we calculate our duration percent complete then the progress would be like time elapsed the time which has spent already divided by total time okay so using this formula in that scenario 15 days are gone and uh, there is Total duration 20, so that's why schedule percent complete is 75%. Now I have already multiplied the 75% to the total work. $2,000 is the value of the cost. It can be anything. If you are going with weightage, you can uh, put weightage instead of this 2000. So it will give you 75, like uh, I'll multiply. So it's 1500. 1500 it's in the shape of money okay 1500 rupees like uh, I, if i'll share with you that slide again in this scenario we have calculated planned value in terms of money you can either calculate uh, 
it all actually totally depends on the format if you have converted your project cost into weightages then it would come in the percentage kind of thing okay but uh, after all your percentage will also multiply to your uh, total money and then it will give you ultimately cost so in both ways you can go for your planning but uh, primavera is converting your cost your man hours into percentage and its program is based on this methodology but the behind um, the primavera 6 beautiful dashboards what's going on i'm giving you that spotlight right now and um, uh, how th th this is the way how planned value will be calculated okay and then we are on the second terminology earned value we are going to solve this one example uh, after this uh, slideshow and uh, the second thing is earned value earned value means that as per site uh, what uh, work you have done okay till 31st december okay so what is earned value this value belongs to execution phase planning value belongs to planning phase earned value belongs to execution phase and it is work done as per site till cutoff date if there is cutoff date 31st december then you have to calculate three parameters earned value planned value and actual cost till 31st december it's not like that you should consider 30 december for earned value 31st december for planned value and 1st of january for actual cost you are not following the logics and standard of project management you have to consider one date and every these three other parameters should be calculated till that date so earned value how it will be calculated earned value formula will also be uh, is also given over here and uh, in primavera 6 you will find uh, earned value automatically calculated by primavera 6 once you will update your project progress and what is the formula earned value is equal to work done in percent multiplied total value of work work done in percentage uh, you must know that uh, work uh, this is the progress and you will apply the progress formula uh, which you already know that work done divided by total work same like we have already calculated duration or schedule percent complete okay and uh, that is the way you will calculate earned value and uh, here start date 15 december 2019 duration 20 days cutoff date yes here uh, you can write uh, cutoff 31st december and side data says that you have done work uh, equal to twelve hundred dollar like twelve out of two thousand dollar you have done work up to twelve hundred dollar okay so now you will understand things like uh, what was the fifteen hundred that was planned value you planned about uh, in planning phase that you will work till 31st december uh, uh, work which will worth of uh, fifteen hundred dollar but how could you done it in execution phase till that date in on actual ground level so um, that is twelve hundred dollar that is side data that is the data you are updating in primavera 6 planning data is automatically picked up by primavera 6 from the baseline whereas this execution data will be picked up once you are updating your project progress so following those four precious steps okay and uh, then what is there is okay 1200 how 1200 comes here 60 percent okay so that's why so in primavera 6 you will get all these things automatically what is actual cost actual cost uh, the definition of actual cost is it includes actual uh, cost of labor non-labor material overhead charges and uh, liabilities what does it mean by liability because I already told you that you have also considered this actual cost till 31st December. But uh, in some cases, I have uh, uh, observed these uh, situations that uh, your contractor uh, has done the work, but payment has not released. And uh, that would be considered as a liability because in future you have to uh, follow the IPC um, tenure that in which time period you have to uh, pay back but that work done has been counted in the terms of earned value now you have also considered the cost against that work done on actual level in actual cost okay and then expense liabilities and expense all the other things if you have not planned a single thing but in execution phase you need that resource as well then uh, the cost of that resource uh, also will be included in the actual cost in other words I will uh, give you an example here. I'll share with you uh, dashboards. Let's say 
now the scenario is that till 31st december you planned that you will do work worth of $1500 but uh, you could only complete your work worth of $1200 but uh, your actual cost what is actual cost is let's say i'm giving i'm taking just an scenario okay so this is actual cost actually sometime in your project there is some risks there there is some rain material is destroyed or some uh, equipment is out of running and you need maintenance you did not plan something you forgot or some scope are missing so anything can be happen and your actual cost will be increased so this actual cost will include all the other things uh, like you have extra uh, you you need to buy some extra material you have some uh, you know your some equipment is not uh, running properly so you need maintenance so all those charges will be included in, under the tag of actual cost and it will provide you further kpi dashboard the uh, variance analysis and performance analysis and uh, forecasting analysis and how we have to utilize all these things before going into that sheet i will share with you slide and uh, here you can see that you will include that your actual cost labor $500, non-labor $200 till 31st December. Remember that material cost $400, overhead charge is $90, liability is $210, and then expense $60, and total is $1460. Okay, and there I have written uh, $1450. Uh, 50, uh, so consider it same, like same. Okay, so what is next? In your earned value management, you will get two kind of things. Uh, one dashboard and one is graphical reports, S-curves. You have already know about S-curves, but now you are going to produce your S-curves based on your dashboard, okay? I will give you like this. You know the S-curve is like this. So in this S-curve, you can see that there are three parameters. Your plan, th that is the cutoff date. That's why we call it cutoff date because now you are cutting your plan this is your all timeline schedule window and uh, you are cutting this window that is why that uh, uh, section on which you are going to cut this uh, draw this line underneath that point the date time interval date would be called as cutoff date data date or status date because on this date you are going to explain about your project progress and um, that is planned value on 12th of 12th day uh, this much was planned this much was actually spent and this much was uh, work done okay for this work done you have bear this much amount okay why because i have already explained about the issues sometime poor planning sometime uh, you uh, um, come across with some risks your material is not in good condition you need to buy again all these things will matter and these things should be considered in your project monitoring because in the next project you will consider uh, you will make it lesson learn and uh, something like that okay 